Across the GTA, we saw thousands of people standing on overpasses like this one, waving flags, cheering for trucks to honk, and screaming one word over and over again, freedom. We asked many what that word meant to them. There were constructive conversations and some not so pleasant exchanges. Tonight, we look into the psychology of a word that many have been chanting from coast to coast. Freedom! I want my Canada back. I want freedom. Does freedom come at all costs for you? Yes, it does. Freedom! 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 It's a two-syllable word that packs plenty of punch. I would love to have my freedoms back. The current convoy and the strong opinions shared by some this week. What part of this are you going to really tell the truth about? motivated UFT psychologist Steve Jordans to post this brief lecture on YouTube. My talk is called Freedom, 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 um, Freedom Viewed from a Psychology Perspective. The virus should be our common enemy. You would think we would all unite to take it on. Though two years into the pandemic and it's growing increasingly apparent that for some, decency towards one another and decorum are disintegrating. My 10 year old doesn't know what the truth is because of people like you. I would say probably check your facts. Yes, sir. How did we go from banging pots and pans together in support freedom, 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 freedom. to this? You guys should be held responsible too. Professor Jordans brings it all back to the psychology of freedom. There's something called self-determination theory and it kind of outlines three critical kind of components people need to embrace something and one of them is something we call autonomy and autonomy is that feeling like you are in control. You are doing things because you want to do it. Uh, when we got to the vaccine mandates and a lot of those things we already had a group of people I think that were feeling sort of victimized, for lack of a better term. You're hitting their autonomy. You're kind of saying, I'm taking away your freedom, your power of choice, uh, and I'm telling you what you have to do. Every human in the world bristles to that. We saw lots of people gather yesterday and, and, and to feed off of that gathering. What are we seeing now? When they see others who agree with what they, they uh, believe, it strengthens their resolve. They think, oh yes, we must be right. Look at all these people. How can we be wrong? You know, even though it's it's a minority of the population, um, when you see it, when you see a bunch of people, you feel very emboldened. If we don't have a baseline understanding across the country on what the word freedom means, does that make the conversation very difficult to have with people? Yeah. Yes, we want absolute freedom. You know, until we realize that absolute freedom comes by another name, and that's called anarchy. As we look towards the weekend, yeah. is there a concern about? one's individual notion of what freedom is and how that may manifest itself. Yeah, I, I mean, the, the concern I have, I, I think of Dr. Frankenstein. You know, Frankenstein built a monster that, that they couldn't control. Uh, to some extent, the, the truckers have built something here. Um, they built something really impressive, a, a literal movement that's connected to this notion of freedom. But can they control it? And I, and I think that's the worry is, you know, who else, what, what other parts are now going to get, dare I say, bolted on? Only time will tell. If you'd like to watch Professor Jordan's full lecture on the psychology of freedom, you can find a link on our website. Go to citynews.ca slash extras. I'm Adrian Gobriel for City News.